Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Christmas Memories YouTube Inspiration Hop Day 10 Holiday Treats. So obviously I had to do another photo of me and Rob going through our box of goodies that Pat sent us. Here is everything that I'm going to attempt to use. I mean, obviously I'm not going to use everything because that's a huge kit, right? This is my Echo Park Cartabella November, December subscription kit. If you guys haven't got that, I recommend looking into it because it's fabulous and you get a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out two sheets of paper here that I'm going to run through that Stampin' Up! sweater embossing folder. Just showing you a little close up there. Go ahead and trim my photo down. I can only trim it on my side because if you see next to Rob right there is the famous B. She wanted to be in on it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and ink all my edges in a, I don't remember the color, but I will show it to you here. I want to say shabby shutters. Not 100% sure. Oh, wow, that went really fast. Anyway, so I'm going to adhere my picture down to the first um, piece of paper that is embossed. I grab my ruler and I'm going to just kind of tear. I think it gives it a little bit more interest. So I'm just going to kind of tear um, on the smaller portions where I can't quite grab it. Uh, with, you know, because there's not a lot like this one right here. I'm just going to go ahead and tear it without the ruler. And then I am going to ink up all of those edges and I'm going to apply it. I'm going to Add some more adhesive and add the second layer. Um, the reason that I'm inking the edges is because I chose two very white, small um, print pieces of paper, and I want to I want you to be able to tell that there is definitely two there. Then I remember halfway through that I have that punch there, that little gingerbread punch, and you will see all of a sudden I remember. I have a matching stamp set, and I'm going to make little gingerbreads because it's all about sweet treats, right? Um, I did cut that down on my trimmer. I do have my, my little cutter pillar right to the side of me. So there you go. I find my punch. I do some stamping and dyeing. I do that all off screen. If you guys are interested in seeing the mixed media portion of my layouts, please let me know. I actually do those um, starting the first of the year. That will that will be mostly on my members portion of my YouTube channel. If that's something you're interested in, click that join button and come on and join in on the fun that we have every month. Uh, it's mixed media. It's basically whatever you want to see. If you want to see my craft room, if you want to see me do something, it's members request and that's what we do. So head on over and check us out. Come join us. And then um, we have lives and zooms and all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah, I'd love to have you. All my members are super uber nice and sweet and will accept you and welcome you with open arms. Just like all my other members, you guys are awesome. Our subscribers, I should say. I apologize. So to date, while I'm tying this bow, and let me tell you, it takes me way too long to tie this bow and apply this to the page. Let's just get that out of the way, right? I struggled hugely with this. But while I'm doing that, I want to remind you that today is a hop and listed down below will be all the other lovely creatives that are playing along with today's hop. Uh, the hop is a brainchild of Miranda Weber. She comes up with fabulous uh, inspirational prompts for us to follow. And I've noticed this year that I've used the prompts for more of the design elements of my layout, not so much the pictures. If the pictures happen to work, they do like this one, sweet treats. Um, but yeah, so it is kind of fun to think about that, right? You know, because like when we did Confessions of a Paper Egg 20 Days of Cut Files, I used the prompt to pick my cut file, not necessarily my picture. So yeah, kind of fun. All right, so don't forget to yeah check everyone else out. Also, I will have all of this up on my Facebook group as well. If you'd like to come hang out with us there, I will have that linked down below and all my other affiliate links. For, you know, the Confessions of a Paper Addict, I will have Bruce Monroe, the Glassboard Studios, which is that fabulous, fabulous glass mat that I work on, and uh, Close to My Heart if you want to pick anything else up. I have had this little Doodle Pops thing sitting in my stash forever, and you know why? Because it's cute. Seriously, it's cute, and I was like, I'll use it. 
when something special comes, nope, nothing special is going to come up. I'm using everything. I went through my stash, you guys, and if you remember what I started with, I have got it down to, yeah, like I, I was able to condense it into a lot less and the collections are slowly dwindling down. Like you will see here and there where there's only like a few stickers on some 12 by 12 sheets, which is awesome. I'm going to put in some adhesive back brads. And then I'm going to come in with this fabulous Brutus Monroe stamp set. And we're just going to pop a few of these things around here that uh, this is the, oh, I want to say homemade, but it's like a uh, fun recipe card stamp set. So I do put yum, yum, sweet treats and desserts around the page. Uh, I use my close to my heart black ink just, just for a little added dimension. And I want to use my stuff. So, you know, use the supplies you got, right? So we get that down. I do come in with a G2 gel pen in gold and do the messy lines around the outside because I felt like the outside needed something. When I don't have anything touching the edges, I have to do the messy lines. If you guys notice that, that's what I'm thinking why I love the messy lines. I have to have stuff touching the edges and running it off the page. And when I don't, in this case, I have to finish off the layout with some sort of border or mat or um, inking edges or just anything to make it definitely look finished in my mind. So I do pull in the sticker sheet and I want to grab just a few things. I do only get two, but it makes it worth the while for me because it makes me feel like I use some stickers and that's going to do it for today's layout. Don't forget to check everyone else out and I will see you guys later with another video. Bye.